Tracy, meantime, up front, has closed on Zanardi. Does he have room for a move? Nobody lights up those Goodyear tires, pulling right up onto Zanardi's gearbox. Now, Zanardi is on the softer Firestone tires, so maybe what we talked about at the beginning of the show is starting to play. He ran those tires very hard in qualifying, and Paul Tracy did not. And Paul Tracy now looks like he's ready to pounce. A great view looking at the back of Zanardi's car the best place to see if Paul Tracy is going to try and make a move. If you're going to try and pass someone here, you're going to have to go for it, but we have an indication now, full course yellow. Raul Boisel from Brazil with his fourth team in as many years, looking for his first top five finish since the final race of the 1994 season. He's been plagued by a lot of bad racing luck. Here comes an on-fire Zanardi. Zanardi knows he doesn't have much time left. He has one of the fastest cars here, probably other than Pruitt. So he's got to try and pick his spot and pick up some of those spots. What you're thinking right now is, Bob, you're trying to think, okay, I've got to get the power down well. I've got to get off this corner because the best place to pass, obviously, is in the braking zones for the chicanes. But it did appear as though Raul actually got a little better drive coming off that corner. Zanardi runs in seventh. He'd like to score as many points as possible before they load up the cars at the end of the day and fly them back to California for next week's Grand Prix of Long Beach, which will be coming your way at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central and Pacific here on ABC. Be sure to be with us for that. Sonardi closes in on the brakes. You can see he went a little bit wider, trying to get a better shot. Now, this will be important. How can he get on to the back straightaway? Uh, you know, he carried some brake in there and seemed to, again, to lose a little bit of speed coming out of the back straightaway. You know, these Fords, people in years past have said the Ford hasn't had a whole lot of power. But I tell you what, that Ford is having no trouble at all with this Honda. Right now, they're using all the revs, they're using all the fuel. We heard from the pits that everyone has been notified it's a timed race, so they will put everything to full qualifying mode, and they're just going for it. Nearly 15,000 RPM, they twist these things, and you can hear it. Now, unofficially, just a little over four minutes remaining. It'll only be about a couple of laps before we'll see the white flag and then the checkers. So if you're going to make a move, it's going to have to come soon. Before we move on to the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, the championship points begin to accumulate rapidly. Sonardi had a little bit of push in the final corner, meaning that the car did not turn as well as he had hoped. And that's what's making it tough.